Hi, welcome to Delores Studios. We've talked about SQLite database and content provider in the past, but we never mentioned about how to handle images in the SQLite database. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to save and retrieve images from your SQLite database. And the application is going to look this way. We're going to have an image view with two buttons. The first will be to pick image, while the second will be to add that same image to the DB. On the click of the pick image, you're going to have the access to pick from gallery or to click from camera. That is, you can actually take uh, a selfie or a picture using the device camera and as well save that same picture to the DB. It's not stopping there. You also have the access to retrieve those images in a recycler view. Without much ado, let's head straight to the studio so I could explain more details about the source. Right there in the Android studio, we'll be headed straight to the view gradle where we're going to include a few dependencies, the support design 25.31, recycler view, as well with the material dialogues the core, which is 0.9.4.5, that will help us to select the type of image we want to pick. So after that, you synchronize your gradle and have your application since ready to you. Head straight to the layout. We have three layouts here. The activity main, which is the launcher layout. The details that will actually show are all the images that have been saved to the SQLite database. And the image item uh, in any recycler view, you always need an item. The item is actually the metadata of the recycler view. So high level rundown of how these uh, look. This is the activity main where we have a constraint layout as the parent tag. And if you notice, we have an image view with two buttons underneath. Uh, we actually use constraint layout to actually make it uh, sit appropriately on the layout. The image view has a layout with an height of 200 dp. We want it slightly large, so it won't be too small and uh, blurry. Underneath, we have a button with an idea of pick image. And there, this button is actually going to uh, trigger the pick, the image picker, where you can select what type of uh, image you want to pick, probably from the gallery or you want to use the device camera. Underneath the button image, you have the button to add to your DB. So this is actually going to take the picture that will be displaying in the image view and save that to the database. Let's get to look at the details main. That's for the detail view. Uh, this is actually the coordinator layout where we declare a recycler view that is going to handle the layout image item. That's the list item. And uh, in the list item, which is the image item, we only have an image view because we just only need to speed back all images that were saved into the SQLite database. We also have the menu folder where we have the top menu. This is actually going to trigger the details activity. So cool. From here, we'll be heading straight to the Java classes. And uh, we're going to look at uh, the classes involved. The main activity is the launcher activity. And uh, let's get to look at what that uh, is actually going to look like. Cool. In the main activity, we have The fields are involved. Firstly, the profile image view, the button for the pick image, and we have the selector that's a, a finite integer for the photo or for the capture photo. That's if you're actually selecting from gallery or you're capturing the photo from the camera. There's a progress dialog uh, with an object of progress bar 
and we you actually uh, set the progress status to zero we have a progress bar handler which is instantiated with a new handler and uh, we'll be looking at the db helper where the bitmap thumbnail all will be discussed in this uh, class in the onCreate method you set the content view to the activity main which I've just talked about and we try to initialize the image view likewise with the pick image button you set an unclick listener to the pick image don't forget that you need to implement the view on click listener because we are not actually uh, sending a method from the button right 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 from the XML so you can actually trigger a button click in two forms either you create an unclick from the button XML and you push down to a particular method or you implement the, the activity in question uh, with the view on click listener and you undo the on click method that's you have to override on click method based on the ID you're getting so that's the uh, method we're going to be doing now so we just set an on click listener to the pick image that's a button and you pass these as the activity in question now we need to test to check the self permission to give to grant a permission the camera permission to the user at that point in time at that point in time you enable the profile image view after you might have requested the permission and if the permission is granted cool instantiate the db helper we get to look at the db helper where we're going to create the sqlite database and also uh, create uh, the table and so on now in the onclick method which we're going to focus on the peak image which is the peak image button that we set an onclick listener to cool. we use a switch case uh, where we get the id and uh, the first case is the peak image you instantiate the material dialog because we are actually using a dialog a material dialog which is giving us more uh, room to actually uh, give menus because we're going to have three options and in these three options will be handled with the case that's why if you notice we use the case of an index of zero that's the first the index of one is the second while the index of two is the third so that's the case we're using with an items of an array upload images let's get to look at the array so that we're actually going to understand how this is flowing we have an array right there in the values the array is XML so if you notice a string array of name upload images and of the item IDs so for each for the pick from gallery you have the ID of gallery image from the click from camera you have the camera image while the remove image you have the remove image id so the pick from gallery will be zero the click from camera will be one while the remove image will be two so i want you to take cognizance of that particular id so that sets the items array and the items id so we have the item callback where you instantiate the material dialog list callback which you have to override the on selection passing the material dialog the view the integer the which type of integer the, the of question that's the id and the character sequence which is the text so this which will be focused more on the which which is the integer the case which is zero one to a subset and you test for the first case the zero that's if the user actually toggle on the first uh, option which is to select from the gallery we call an intent which is a photo picker intent object instantiate with an intent and this time it's an intent for action pick not an intent to push to another activity we're actually using an action pick the object creator which is the photo picker intent you set the type of data you are pointing at that's the mime type which is an image 
all images. So you start an activity for results because you are expecting a result after the user might have picked the selected image. You pass the photo picker intent and the select photo integer which we declared earlier here as the parameters. So we get to look at the activity for results that handled the camera from gallery, the, the picture from gallery rather. The second case is actually pointing at the media store where you have to trigger the device camera. That's why you have the action image capture. So this is going to actually call the device camera because you might have you would have granted access to use the camera from uh, this permission we declared much earlier over here. Over here. Cool. So let's move ahead. You start an activity for results, passing the intent object you created here with the capture photo, which is the second integer. Cool. You break that out. And the, sec the third case, which will be the case two, you set the image resources because that means you're removing the image. Probably you're not adding any of this to a default drawable that was created. So that's just going to set that if you click or if you toggle to that remove image. So we get to handle two start activity for results and we get to look at that. Uh, we handle the on request permission results, which actually going to grant the permission. And uh, that's cool. And the progress bar will actually be triggered during the process of uh, each uh, activity for results. If you are calling the camera, if you're calling the gallery, you instantiate the progress bar, you set cancelable to that, which is true, and you set the message. So please wait. Set the progress style. Which kind of progress dialog style are we looking at? We opt for the style spinner and also set the progress. At zero, the maximum progress should be 100, and you show the progress bar. Now we're going to use a runnable to make this run on the background, and uh, we're going to actually use the thread in the process. You override the run method, which check the status of the progress bar. If it's less than 100, the progress bar status continues to iterate by 30. That's it iterates, it adds to 30 before it gets to 100 which uh, is actually going to make this argument false in the process you try to slip a thread which is actually going to take a thousand milliseconds that's just barely probably uh, a few 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 seconds and you actu actually need to catch for an interrupted exception where you pin print that up to uh, to the stack trace cool now the progress bar handler will actually post this and you need to override the run method whereby you need to set the progress dialog at this point in time now if the progress status is greater than or equals to zero this is when it's less than 100 but this time it's greater than or equals to 100 also a try a thread will be triggered to sleep for a while that's for like more than two seconds so if it's interrupted there's going to actually be a print as well and the progress bar dismissed so we are going to actually call this progress bar in the course of set this progress bar in the course of uh, each of these uh, start activity now let's get to look at them more closely on activity for results that's if the request code equals to the select photo and if the result code is OK, uh, you're going to actually run a try and catch block. Uh, in this process, we declare a URI, which uh, is a resource identifier. And it gets the data, which is the data from the intent. We declare also a final input stream that gets a content resolver to open the input stream and pass the image URI as a parameter. Now you need to convert the image stream to a bitmap. So this is when we use a bitmap, call the bitmap factory, and decode the stream with the image stream parameter, which is from uh, the image URI. 
So you set the progress bar at this point in time. So this method will be triggered. This chunk of thread and slip will be triggered. And after that, you set the image bitmap to the selected image, which is actually going to be the profile image view. And the profile image view is just the image view we had, which is actually going to sit as a as on the top of the two buttons. So at that point in time, you'll be able, that's a callback, that's the on activity for result, the result we're expecting. And we'll be able to set the image appropriately. So if you actually select a photo, that's from the gallery. Now a catch will be triggered that file not found exception. Cool. That's probably if you didn't actually get any file to select. Else if, if the request code now is a capture photo, that means you trigger the device camera and the result code is OK, it's going to trigger this method on capture image results and pass the intent data as a parameter. Let's get to look at the on capture image results. Uh, this on create options menu will be talked about later on when we're going to talk about the details activity. On captured image results. This take the data as a parameter, and this time we have a bitmap thumbnail object, which we have over here created as a global. And uh, you will need to actually cast that bitmap to the data you're getting, which is the get extras, and uh, you're getting the data. Cool. You also set the progress bar at this time. And you set the profile picture from the camera where you set the maximum width you're expecting to 200 dp. And you set the image bitmap to the thumbnail you got. So once you get all this extras, you pass that to the bitmap thumbnail and you set that to the image. That's if you are using the device camera. So we'll get to look at uh, how to add to db and also how to call using the cost loader, uh, which is actually going to run in the background and populate what you saved right there into the recycler view. So catch me up in the second part, but I'll actually be showing you the demo of this first part and I will be uh, getting you ready for the second part. Don't go anywhere. Thank you so much for hanging out with me.